I'm Avery Garrett with the Gunners Supporters Club. I'm here to introduce you to some of the players and help you get to know them better. Uh, what's your name? Uh, my name is Daniel Jackson. Okay. Uh, what's your number? Number 17. 17. And what position do you play? Um, I play outside right. Okay. Where? Are there any other positions you play? Um, well, for my school at Coker College, I play uh, up top. We play uh, three up, three strikers up top, and I'm the center forward. So, okay. Uh, you want to tell me about your family? Um, well, I'm an only child, um, and also an only grandchild. So it's, I'm pretty spoiled. Do you have any hobbies outside of soccer? Um, I mean, typical, typical uh, 20 year old, uh, early 20s. I like to play video games. I like to go out. I like to, you know, just hang out with friends and stuff like that. But mostly, obviously, it's soccer. So. Uh, when did you first develop your love for the game? Um, I probably have to say in my early high school years, uh, it was it was always something that I you know enjoyed playing. But our high school team was actually uh, we were number one in our region and the nation. So like this the, the successful part of it, and as well as just me like playing the game, it kind of kind of made me develop a love for it. Uh, what do you feel the U.S. needs to do to help develop younger players? Uh, I think that I really think they need to uh, actually have like a stronger youth development program. Like you see you see clubs in England, how they have they they grow up kids from like the wee ages of three and four. So I think if we if we get more into that of training our kids younger and getting get them used to the game at a younger age, I think we'd have a lot more, a better outcome than we, than we do. Uh, what's the best advice you can give to a young player who aspires to play at or above your level? Well, I mean, perseverance is one thing. You're always gonna have those people who think you can't do it and it's, it's not true. So if you can believe in yourself and do, and, know, and do what you can and work hard, then there's anything that, there's nothing that you can't do. What does it mean to you to play for the Destroyers? Oh, it means a lot. It's, it's, it's actually my second um, PDL team, but I'd have to say this one was more well put together, and I like the, the team chemistry better, and the players as well are a lot better quality. So I'm like, I'm enjoying that. And the, the area is nice, and uh, it's my first club was in Michigan, so this area is pretty pretty nice. I like the weather and things like that, so it was nice. Who is your favorite club team? Uh, I'd have to say Manchester United. I uh, was following them since, like I said, in my high school days, and I just... Uh, enjoy watching them play, how they play, and I'm a big Sir Alex, Sir Alex Ferguson fan. So, do you have a player you looked up to or still look up to? Oh, definitely. I would have to say Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, he's he's got a lot of pace, which I do have, and I kind of like try to mimic him and how how he plays the game and how well he plays it. And he's just he's just a great player, and he you know seems like his player atmosphere is a lot is is very positive as well. So, uh, how how do you feel about uh, uh, Ronaldo not taking that I mean, penalty? For me, um, I think you. You always have to take a chance with the the least strongest. Well, obviously you have your top five PK takers, but I'd I'd have to go with strongest last because if it gets to that point, you know you can rely on somebody. And I think Cristiano Ronaldo is a pretty reliable person when taking PK. So I really didn't I really didn't have a problem with that. I mean, he didn't have his chance, but that's not his fault. So, uh, what's your favorite moment in football? Um, I'd probably have to go to uh, actually 2009, the uh, Euro Champions League. Um, actually, when Manchester United played FC Porto. And Ronaldo's goal actually it was like from 50 out, 50 out. It was an amazing shot. It's just kind of one of those moments that stuck in my head. That was just a you know shining moment for him, probably a turning point in his career that got him to Real Madrid. So it's a pretty cool memory. And uh, what is your top priority for your own personal development and training? My own personal, it's just like I said before, it's just working hard. You're always going to have those people who, like I said, can't tell you that you can't do it. You just have to work hard and come into practice every day and work develop the skills probably mostly for me is just mental because I kind of get out of game sometimes with the mental part but I think if I fine into my mental standpoint on the field I think I would be a pretty good player in the future. Okay uh, well thank you for your time. All right thank you. Gunners ready! Man the guns! Gunners ready! Man